Yo, what's up people? Today we're here to discuss a topic that I often hear a lot of concerns about, and that is how will hair loss impact us when it comes to things like dating, success, and even our careers. You know, the stigma, especially for young men out there, is that when you begin to lose that beautiful head of hair, you are doomed. I've experienced this firsthand. The first time I went about shaving my head, I was always told how it was a bad idea, how it will affect my chances of meeting a woman, even being told that the look will portray me to be some kind of troublemaker. And that really does suck away at your confidence, especially when you're doing something so drastic to better yourself. And the last thing that you need is to have people putting down your decision because of a stereotype that they've seen or heard about. I can tell you this right now. Those stereotypes are complete BS and for the love of God, you don't need to buy into them. All you've got to do is go on YouTube and search anything to do with bald guys. I guarantee that you will find so many examples of both men and women who defy those stereotypes. I've done experiments myself to prove it. One of my first videos on hair loss was all the way back in 2015. The week I shaved my head, I stepped out my house with an intent to prove that bald guys can be just as successful with approaching women as guys with hair. And you'll see in the following footage, a newly bald, extremely anxious 24 year old me trying to do my thing, trying to get them digits. And what I realized on that day and even the weeks and months that followed it, the girls I approached or went on dates with, they didn't give two shits about my hair loss or the fact I was bald. The fact I carried myself with a backbone with a sense of confidence stood out far more than that. Plus, hair or no hair, there's always things you can do to enhance your physical appearance. For example, I always made sure to keep on top of my fitness. Now, Naturally, when you go bold, a lot of the attention that would have been on your hair is now gonna go to your face, so you wanna make sure that you look after yourself. Keeping on top of your fashion doesn't hurt either, and I will be doing more videos on that in the near future, so look out for those. But yeah, back to it. None of the girls I ever talked to really cared about my hair loss, and to be honest, guys, if you happen to approach, date, or you're already in a relationship with a girl who's got an issue with your hair loss, you need to run for the effing hills because that shit's gonna bring you down, and you don't need that toxic energy from your significant other. So now we're gonna discuss what's changed for me in the four years that I've been rocking this bald head, this chrome dome, let's put these goddamn stereotypes to bed. So I was always told that if I don't get a hair transplant or some kind of hair restoration procedure, I won't find a woman. Always told that women do not like bald guys. Surprise, surprise. Not only was my dating life exactly the same after shaving my head, but guess what? Within a year of being bald, I met my significant other who I've now been dating for four years. Oh, did I say I proposed to her? Did I mention she said yes? Did I mention in that time we've actually got a house together? If it wasn't for the coronavirus, you better know that wedding ring was getting pulled out this year. So to sum it up, hell no. Hair loss had no effect on my dating life and that's because I flat out refused to let it. If you allow your insecurity to be a problem and then use that problem as a scapegoat to put the blame on, you will never give yourself the space to grow past them. Just remember not to be harsh on yourself. So many guys go through hair loss and still strive and like I said, there's so many examples. So rather than focusing on the stereotypes and the stigma that is out there, focus on the good examples who prove otherwise. If you need any further reassurance, just ask Johnny Sins. Another big one I hear about is how hair loss will affect us in regards to our success and our careers. And once again, let's bust that stereotype up. Since balding, not only have I moved from my day job to a better paying day job, I've also grown enough as a person to be able to start a YouTube channel. Hair loss gave me the opportunity to give something back, to inspire people, and that's something that I've always wanted to do. And funnily enough, that would have never happened if I didn't go through this hair loss journey. Before hair loss, I had a YouTube channel with 15 subscribers and a day job on a zero hour contract. After hair loss, I'm I'm blessed enough to have a 5k strong army of supporters on my YouTube channel and not to mention a better day job to boot. So yeah, let's put that stereotype to bed right now. So evidently, hair loss certainly hasn't worsened my life. Sure, the experience of losing my hair was painful initially, but from losing that one trait, I learned and I grew so much. The growth I've had as a person far outweighs the loss of hair, and I truly believe that can be the case for every balding guy out there. All you gotta do is have the patience and the bravery to be able to accept yourself as you are. Accept that there's gonna be some mentally painful days, but you will get through them and eventually, you will be able to appreciate that new you. And plus, on the topic of stereotypes, we're in 2020. We're now in a world where all walks of life are generally accepted. We're no longer in the era of people looking at bald guys like they're terrorists, gang members, rednecks. I truly believe that we're past all that. And if you encounter someone that's small-minded enough to view you that way, don't even react to it because in truth, all it highlights is the fact that they're insecure towards people who have differences to them. You don't need to pin your hopes and assurance into what they think of you. Anyway, my name is Ricky Benang. I want to thank you for viewing this video and I also want to welcome you to the Bolden family. Embrace the pain, embrace the hurt that you're feeling right now. And just take it from me that the sooner you accept what's happening, the quicker you can move on with your life and grow as a person. I do wish you the best of luck. Be sure to like, hit that bell icon if you enjoyed the content. And if you do need to message me, don't hesitate. I'm always there. Much love.